Hey everybody, my name is Dale Weatherford. I am a first year student at the Academy of Realist Art in Boston, and today I'm gonna to show you how I restore and reshape my paintbrushes. So here are the materials you need to clean your brushes and to restore and reshape them. Um, I have a few of my brushes. Um, some small rounds, a badger fan, synthetic mongoose, a natural mongoose, and a big bristle brush. I have my uh, brush cleaners, uh, the soaps, um, paper towels, toilet paper, tape, office clips, and warm water. Um, so let's begin. Okay, so I'm going to start with a uh, bristle brush. Uh, this is a filbert. Um, this method works for all brushes, whether they're filberts, flats, fans, rounds, liners, uh, hog, mongo synthetics. And uh, this one's brand new, but the method works all the, the exact same. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just wash it. Like, let's just, you know, this is a dirty brush. Um, You know, just imagining that this was actually had paint in it. It's a brand new one. And that's what I'm gonna do. So now that I've cleaned it, I'm going to wrap it. And like I said, this works for filberts and flats. Um, the fan and the round I do differently because they are shaped differently, but a fan and a filbert are, at least in most of the shape, is pretty similar. So what I do is I first I'll lay it flat on a piece of paper towel or toilet paper. Um, either works very well. Um, and what I'm going to do is I put the uh, the brush like roughly halfway in between the paper towel and I just roll it over and I'll put like a crease in it and I just fold it over crease it again and do one final fold over and then I take a piece of tape and I'll tape it to the ferrule what I mean is that I'll tape the paper towel to the ferrule, like so. And then obviously we have all this excess. So I, I can feel that the hair is like right here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the paper towel and I'm gonna fold it over, but I make sure I'm not um, gonna fold it where the hairs are. If I were to fold it way back here, I would um, damage the shape of the brush. I don't wanna do that. Obviously we're here to maintain the shape of the brush. So, you know, I'm going well, well past, largely, well past the brush, the, the end of the brush. So I take it, I'm just pinch it like so. And if I was working with like a very big brush, like if we're getting into like, you know, one inch, two inch, three inch brush, um, I'll probably also use an office clip just to make sure that that, um, that it remains at a point, I guess. Um, what's going to happen with this is that the paper towel, now that it's like crimped, it's gonna pull the hairs together and I'll just let this sit overnight. And by tomorrow morning, um, the hair will be completely uh, reshaped into a pr pretty much a full sharp brush. There might be a few displays, but not, not nowhere as many. Okay, so the next is uh, a round brush, and I do have um, a few smaller ones, obviously for my detail. Uh, but this is uh, one of my larger ones. And um, the method is, at least in terms of wrapping it a little bit different. 
um, instead of folding it, because if I did that, obviously the hairs would go from being around to a flat or a filbert. Um, so what we do is we, we roll the paper, or roll the, roll the toilet paper, or paper towel. Um, once again, about you know, halfway. And we just roll it. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'll take a piece of tape, tape it to the fair like always. And then um, what I do, so the hairs are you know, about, the end of the brush is about right here. So I come way up here and I just give the end of the paper towel a little twist. And this will um, bring the hairs back together to a sharp or sharper point. Okay, so now I'm gonna jump to my uh, detail round brushes. The, the, once I get to the very small brushes, you can see uh, this brush is you know very sharp, um, very beautiful. And this is actually after I clean after I cleaned this one and reshaped it. This one is well, it's not a bit of use. So the hair is already you know, splaying apart. It's not going to a fine tapered point anymore. Um. I do this one a bit differently. I don't wrap them because they're so small, I get, it's kind of difficult to wrap them. So instead what I do is I will use a different brush cleaner, the master's brush cleaner. Um, and basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean it, but I'm gonna let the soap dry into it overnight. Um, I have not experienced any issues with this. Um, it's sort of like when you buy a new brush, you know, they use that starchy uh, glue um, mixture to maintain the shape of the brush. This is kind of what we're doing with the soap. And um, yeah, I just, what I do is I just roll it to a point after I, you know, wash the brush in warm water. And I just use my fingers to sort of taper it. There's still some paint in here. We just roll it to a point. More or less like that. There's a hair right there. Sorry, this hair. So there's a little bit of, you know, um, brush soap in, and the soap will dry to a point. And then in the morning, what I'll do is I'll just wash it out and it'll be restored to a fine point, or once again, a finer point. Yeah. So this is the clean, this is the one that I've restored before, and this is the damaged one. And um, yeah, by tomorrow it, um, it'll be fully tapered or it'll retaper. Um, I could wrap this just like I did with the other round, the, the Mongoose round brush, but once you start to get this small with brushes, it's very difficult to wrap them, but I mean, it, it is possible. Okay, so the final brush is the fan brush. I don't use fans at all. I don't really care for them but i was trying to figure out a way because i know a lot of artists do enjoy a fan brush and they do splay apart and i finally came up with a method um this is a brush that i have cleaned before and i've um i have purposely messed it up to make sure it works and it does work the the, the method of cleaning it and what you need is um two squares of toilet paper work incredibly well for this because they're roughly the same size and just like always you know I, I wash the brush and I just use my um one of my brush soaps brush cleaners whatever you want to call them and then I actually 
I purposely like kind of break it apart or like you know scrub it so it, it sort of gets more fanish um the hairs in this brush tend to like kind of do that when I clean them so I want them to be a bit more sort of like splay like full fan so something like that fully dry or not fully dry but more like splayed out so what we're going to do is instead of doing it this way we're going to turn it the uh, toilet paper to a di to a diamond and then what we're going to do is we're going to put another toilet paper on top of it like so Once again, you know, a little past the ferrule. And then I'm just going to do that like so. And then, so the hairs are right here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the top of it and I'm just going to crimp it, pinch it and crimp it. Like so. And then I just actually do it like this. That way so the, I don't have to risk the um, the toilet paper coming undone. You can also, um, just for a little more assurance, you can always tape it very lightly. That way so it does hold down. And by tomorrow, this brush will be, be um, completely reshaped, just like when I first bought it. And that's it guys um yeah this is how i clean and reshape and restore my brushes um i'm trying to figure out a method right now of how to get the rock as it's called out the ferrule um i'm hoping to have that resolved soon but we'll see anyway thanks guys